Okay, so I'll be showing you the solution. In this uh, project, we'll be uh, using another form where we can enter the value and that value will be placed inside the table. So let's first try to examine the file. So first I have here my main file and the main file will open the GUI form where the table is located. And I have here my table. So I have here my table and I have here my add button. So let's, I will be explaining the code later. And then I created a person class where I have the name, address, sex, for example. So this is my main class. And of course I created the constructors and the setters and getter methods. <clears throat> but this is not the main class that I'll be using. I'll be using the M class. So I created the M class and I, which will inherit the properties and methods of the person class. That's why I place here extends person. And I just added the fields that will be needed for my table, which are the ID, the rate, and hours. So we have integer ID, float rate, float hours. So this will already include this, uh, the name, address, and sex, but I'll be use, needing the name only. So just to show you how do we use inheritance. So here, I just created the necessary constructor. So in NetBeans, you can just use insert code to add the necessary constructor or the getter and setter method. So I just use those things to make things simple. And I created a GUI form. So we're in, I'm going to enter the uh, ID, name, rate, and hours, and I have here two buttons. So I have here text fields, labels, and two buttons. Now let's try to examine the, the code for this. So we have here the constructor. And I created this uh, method, the get fields method. So what will this do? So this will just return the contents of the text box or text fields. So you notice I have here four text fields. So how will I do? Uh, how will I get the value that I entered here? Because I need that in my other uh, form. I need these values. So I created a method, a public method name get fields so uh, i created an object so that i'll be using that i'll be returning that object so return temp that's why you notice the data type here is m so i created a temporary instance of that object and then what i did is to get the value so the value of the text converted to its data type and then I just uh, set that field because I have this cons uh, I have this these are actually my setter from my M class so let's try to look at M class we have here set rate I have here set M ID set hours so set name was inherited from my person class so I have here set name. So I use these methods to set the value of my temp object. So and the values came from my text fields. So here are my text fields. So using get text. My text field using get text. Text field using get text. Text field using get text. And of course, converted this text accordingly. So since id is an integer, so I use integer parse it. This is already a string, so no need to convert. Flow, uh, this is float, because if you get text, these are actually strings, so convert it to float. Hours, convert to float, then set that as the uh, property or the attribute for the temp, and then return the temp value. Now I place here also another method which is a clear fields 
which will just clear the text boxes. And then the two buttons, uh, no, I just I will just use. So these are temporary. Right? So you can actually um, maybe use better code. So to add or to cancel, I use just this that set visible. So, but in reality, maybe you have to place here a some sort of a plug that will know if you save or cancel. But anyway, this is what is important here. We use the get field so that we can get the value okay so let's go back now to our GUI uh, our table so this is a table and we have here the source code so uh, this was already explained in my previous video that we just created a model for the table and then we added the columns so employee ID employee name rate and hours then set the model to be the model of the table then we added three rows here so one two three rows and then set the value for each row so that we have initial values for our table and then we have for now our add button so once we click add the, the add button first we clear the fields and then we show the we show the form but where is my uh, in, uh, how did i instantiate f so i placed that actually here outside so that my form will be accessible in my methods so i have already instantiated the uh, or created an instance of this gui form so if i set that visible that will display my m gui which is actually this one so this will display this form so again if i click on the button the add this is the add button it will show my gui form now so after that, I will be typing the data. So what will happen now after typing the data? So I have here also a variable that will determine if I am adding or not. So I created that variable. So it's a more or less a global variable for this class. So I'll be determining if I click the add button. So if I click the add button, I just type is add equals true. So when the focus is gained by the button, the button, the same button, the add button, and if I am adding, then what will I do? So first, I created a temporary object E. This is M, M and you notice I want to get the fields from my GUI form, which is actually my F. F. So let's go back. I created an instance of the M GUI named F. So to get the fields, I use I use F get fields. Remember that I we created that method, and I've shown you that a while ago. So this method. Okay, so just for you to review the method. So we get the fields in E. We add a new row. Then we count how many rows are there. And what we just do is the values here will be placed in in our uh, in our new row. And the row number for our new row is R minus 1. Why? Because the row number starts with 0. So if you have 5 rows, then the last row is 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's R minus 1. So we insert on the last row. So column 0, last row, we just get the value of MID inside E. Then the name, hours, and rate accordingly to columns 0, 1, 2, and 3 at row R1. And that's it. We have now added the uh, the value we will enter in the field into the last row of or the added row, the newly added row in our table. Then, of course, we just type is add equals false. Okay? So, that's it. That's the main, that's the program. So let's try and turn the program. 
So it will run our main program, which will actually uh, show our GUI form, our table. So that's the table demo GUI. And we have your add button. So if you click on the add button, it will open the form. And we can type here. So let's see the rate is our swear is 80.5 for so once we click save so you notice I, I press this button then if i click save the focus will go back to this button that's why we have the focus event so you notice here we have the focus event so once you get the focus, then it will do the event, which we uh, it will add a new row. So we have to our new row. So we click add again. So it's already blank because we call the clear fields. Then step Jordan. then 90.2 hours so if I click save you notice it's already adding to my form so that's an example of how do we open another GUI form of course we can do a lot of the things here maybe we can later on save all of this thing in a database but that will be on our future uh, example so thank you very much for viewing this video